So here we are back, uh, just going to have a look at uh, what you can do when you install Google Earth and um, really create some uh, cool looking things. So um, yeah, what we want to do is uh, get the run that you're interested in and um, click on export. And you should get the option to go to Google Earth. So clicking on that should uh, create the KML file and normally we'll uh, open up Google Earth and uh, zoom you straight into that but um, we're just gonna launch it anyway um, and so we've got Google Earth up and I've um, got here an activity the .kml file you can see so if I just double click on that it will zoom in and this was my um, one of the day scheme so um, actually need to check that to get the track um, track on and off there but I want to turn off the laps just just get a bit of a clearer thing and laps obviously it, it detects the lap when you go over the same point roughly I think and then it inserts and starts counting again so it can be a bit annoying the laps sometimes like that but um, turn off the laps the track points as well um, but um, here you've got some nice cool things you can kind of rotate rotate stuff around and zoom zoom in so here we've actually created a really nice scenario um, just wanna, unfortunately it's not so snowy but you can appreciate here this is um, perma snow this is the glacier and uh, litters out so that's pretty cool and if you come down here you you know, you can get into what we saw earlier, the, the hotel and everything. This is uh, the other side. And um, essentially, I'm guessing this is one valley and this is the second um, valley. Or it's divided by these two Alps, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, the cool thing is that you can go up to the top and do file. Um, and copy image should allow you, allow you to save a, um, a nice JPEG of this and then you can you know, share that with your friends and everything. Um, so that's pretty cool and and that is really interesting um, for me when I, I go running in places um, like Cuba, I've got some really nice uh, stuff so, uh, so yeah. And uh, zooming all the way out um, gets you back out but I've just remembered it um, these will be on my other laptop. So this is this is not the net. This is saved locally. These KML files, so my Cuba run won't actually be on there. But let's go back to um, go back to here. This run is not on there. So if I click export, export to Google Earth, I get an activity saved. Um, it's just off screen in video at the minute. But if I double click that. Um, I've set that up to open in Google Earth, so what I'm going to do is, is double click that just out of sight. Um, yeah, I want this file, and that hopefully should load up into Google Earth. And here it is. Um, you see all those annoying points? They're the um, points of um, the tracker. So I should be able to click on them I think, and get some info. But um, anyway, turn off the track points, turn off the laps, and here we've got the run. So it's basically a road run going out and you know to some reasonable countryside. Unfortunately, there's just tons of traffic, so it's not that good. But let's zoom in a bit and take take a look. And also, there's a nice you can turn on a grid which give you slight you can't really appreciate appreciate the um, undulations but you can see there's slight hills but they're too slight to notice here but um, yeah we can see uh, you know, you know run on the other side of the road there crossed over there so this is the accuracy that you can get used to with the, the 610 um, and it's the same as my 305 actually it's very accurate and I think this is the big difference between taking your phone out and using it as a GPS tool 
I just don't think you're going to get this information as accurate as what you would with a device like this. I'm not saying they're not as accurate, um, but these are purpose-made devices for this. So. Um, so yeah, these get saved up into my places, and they're in temporary places. When you close it, it says, "Do you want to save it into my places so you can so you can keep that one later?" Um, but uh, yeah, so we get the odd details there. Um, there we go. Save save to my places, and there it goes. It's in my places now. So that's done that one. Um, Zoom out, zoom out, just do a bit of a rotate, maybe to get a nicer, nicer image. Just zoom out a bit more. And there you go. Got that run. Turn 